Hello everyone, this is Aethodis once again, bringing you another Terror Engine tutorial. Now this one we will be dealing with models and placing models into the world. Now sorry this one took a little while to get uploaded, just I had to deal with a kind of pretty bad virus that got onto my computer, but everything is good to go so now we will show you how to place models and decorate the map a little more. Now to access the models just click up under your tab for models and it will bring you this little menu here now this will give you to the Terror Engine main file and you'll see stories and the Terror Engine data so we will just double click into the data and you will want to find the folder that says models click into here and here it will show you all the subfolders that contains all your models and kind of helps you figure out which ones we want first so let's go go into nature and let's throw let's put a shrub in here so just like placing any other like a wall or a floor right and left and there you go we now officially place the model you can move it around raise it lower it up in here you can do the same thing again rotate it you can play around with the scaling so we can make it smaller or we could just make a ginormous and deselect it select it and delete it just like anything else and if you were to click on this editor tab it'll give you much more options again enable it start gravity host can pick up collect movement death on collision news trigger to deactivate we will cover a lot more of those in a later video for kind of like more advanced in the triggers so and then just open it up well let's throw in a tree somewhere let's throw in a tree in the background Now, this might come up, and all I can say is it's just because you're placing more than one model. It shouldn't appear like this when you actually go to test the game. This is it just happens in the editor because the textures in here don't give you like it's a, an alpha or a transparency to the texture, so they make it look like it's a tree. And then when it loads more than one of the same model, it just doesn't. So you won't actually see any of this white stuff when you are in the map playing it. It's just only when you have more than one model. And that tree's pretty good. There's no one way to do There we go. Now, let's, let's throw in a little more decorations on there. I don't know why that's still there. Let's give it that. So when you go back into your models, now you might be wondering, how do I get back? Well, if you just left click and hold, you can go back up one folder, or you can go back even more folders, or you can go all the way back to your C drive, which is kind of why would you want to, because it doesn't, doesn't make sense. So we'll just go into the, let's go interiors, let's put a bookshelf. So we will. There we go. So that's basically how you set up models. You just play around, do whatever you feel like. Now let's get into this. One box. That's a small wood, small wooden box. Holy, I thought that was gonna be a bigger box, but okay. And that's going over. Yeah, okay. Five. There we go. Right, I think it's bad. There we go. 
just like so. And then, as always, save story, overwrite, and yes. So let's just test out, make sure everything works. All right, now that we are testing, apparently I was wrong with my theory, and I'm just a total idiot, so just completely ignore me. I will troubleshoot this. I will figure it out. But it's more than likely just because it's me and I tend to break this a lot. But as we can tell, it is a solid item so you won't be able to go through it. It is a model after all. Can, can, I, can I actually jump up on this? Uh, no, okay, but yeah, models will be solid objects that you cannot walk through and they look pretty nice. Just, I don't know why placing more than one of the same object results in that, but I will figure that out and we will fix that as soon as possible. And then a little more objects. Just keep in mind scaling may be a little hard to tell when you're in the editor, so you just kind of have to like test it out, make sure it's to the proper scale of how you want it. Sit in the chair. Ah, there we go. Nice comfy chair. But anyways. This is kind of just a short tutorial on how to just place simple objects in there, rotate them, move them around, scale them. And in later videos we will show you a bit more stuff. So thank you for watching, hopefully this helps you out, and happy building.